Hey, it's the Ranch Ferry here. Just wanted to clear up something when you actually knock tune your arrows and get them knock tuned and marked. I'm doing a set of four arrows right now. My nephew and some other folks, as you can see, I've got the knock tune marked. Shooting in the old garage this morning. It's not really safe. But there's my target right there. Right there. It's about five yards away. So I knock tuned these arrows and now I need to clutch them. But you have to get the knock tune lined up and that's what we're gonna cover here, so stay tuned. This is a pretty simple process. I'm I mostly shoot feathers. Um, for instance, like this is one of my hunting arrows with the AA fletch on it. I got those from uh, Jake Thompson at Danger Close Outdoors, and this shaft was I shot it bare shaft and knock tuned it. And I prefer to shoot an offset, more traditional. The cables would be over here. So I shoot cock feather out most of the time with a three fletch. It just seems to clear the cables easier than up. It, I know it's kind of idiot proof and I'm not the smartest guy in the freaking world. So to clear the cables, I set them off set. And in the old days, we always shot the cock feather out, just an old school way of doing things. But I know for a fact, it'll clear the cables. If, you're, if you go through the whole process and you bare shaft your shafts, and then you knock tune them, and then the fletchings hit the cables, it's not gonna fly right. It's one argument for four fletch, I'm playing with that. These are tiny little Q2I fusion veins. They're the little target veins that are supposed to not be for hunting well. <laughs> they fly fine. But when you knock tune them, the way a four fletch sets up, it automatically sets up like this in the same basic orientation. If this is a three fletch, it'd be one, two, and a third would stick out here. So this is already nicely done for that. The trick comes when you have a three fletched arrow and you're trying to get a cock, your, your the cables will clear, but you want the cock vein straight up on the knock tune. And you have to adjust the shaft itself or the knock itself. So, on an Arizona Easy Fletch, this is super handy tool. This is classically what's known as the cock vein or the off color vein if you don't shoot all the same fletch, it doesn't matter. This is the cock vein, that's the one we're talking about. That's either straight up on your knock tune or out to the side. You gotta figure out what orientation flies best for you. You just put the arrow on the string and look down the back of the arrow. And if it's gonna hit the cables, then you got to change it. That's pretty simple. Here's the knock tune on this particular arrow. This is a 300 series Vulcan. I'm running these through the Elite Cure. This bow loves a 300 spine arrow, and I shot it this morning from 125 to 275 grains, and they all shot great. So there's my knock tune, and there's the cock vein color. It's a different color. When you slide this in there. But what I did when I got this was I would just slide the arrow out and look to see where the knock tune is. If you want to have cock vein up, this one's already oriented that way and it's fine. On my Bitson Burger, they're a little trickier, okay? I actually have a mark. See this little black mark I put on here? That's where I rotate the uh, knockout of position. I know to do that so I can get the orientation I prefer, which is like this. I actually have to spin the knock 
put it in the Fletcher Fletch them and then move forward. So that's pretty, pretty easy. You're going to have to tinker. You're going to have to put out some effort. There is no easy button. You might have to try some stuff and you're probably going to waste a few fleshings. So buy extra. And once you figure it out, you'll have it. You just take the knock. So this is perfect knock tune. Here's the knock tune on the shaft. That's where you want to shoot it. But I rotated it out of tune to fletch it. And then you rotate it back into position once it's fletched. This will make more sense if you'll go and tinker. Um, you, it's very straightforward. You, the knock tune for the shaft itself has to remain in position or the shaft is not knock tuned. If you rotate it out and fletch it and leave it rotated out, you have now destroyed your knock tune. The fletchings are probably going to overwhelm it and you won't know if you make a mistake and forget but you've gone through all the work of knock tuning and not put it on the fletch. So figure out what works best for your bow. Look down the back of the bow and see if your fletching orientation is gonna clear. You may have to fletch one, put it on your bow and then go, oh man, that's not gonna work and cut them off with a, with a knife and then piddle around with turning the knock until you get the right orientation of the fletch and then you turn the knock back into knock tune. That's how you do this and there's no other way but you're going to make a couple of mistakes, you're going to lose a couple of fletchings, you're going to figure it out like I burned a couple of fletchings before I figured out where to put that dot. Now it's bang, it's on, right? The Arizona Easy Fletch makes life easy um, on that because it actually rotates inside as well. So you could figure out where to rotate it. Okay, that's a little bit on knock tuning and fletching your shafts. It can be a little bit meticulous. And then I've had a couple of subscribers, you know, come in and say, hey man, bear shafts were shooting bullets and I went down there and started fl fletching them up, started flinging them around, they're flying all over the place. And I'll say, well, any chance that your uh, fletchings are hitting the cables? Did you look at that? No, I fletched up a whole dozen. And then I get a reply, oh man, <laughs> hey man, I've been there. You get excited, you think you got this all nailed, and then you make some little minor thing. You cannot have veins hitting the cables. It doesn't really help, because they're right about the time it comes off the string. It's, it's on the cables, and then you can throw it wonky. So just a little tip from the RF, do your knock tuning, do your bear shaft knock tuning, do your flesh knock tuning, however it works. But if you're doing bear shaft knock tuning, Make sure your fletch orientation will clear the cables and life will be better and you won't pull your freaking brains out or, you know, have a Xanax problem. My job is not to have a drug rehab facility named Ranch Fairies Archery and Drug Rehab. That's <laughs> not my job. My job is to make you more sane. So in the process of doing this crazy stuff, it's just step by step by step. It can be very meticulous. But at the end of the day, you'll have really, really good arrow flight, high penetration, and the best flying arrows you'll ever, you know, ever shoot, it's especially compared to a big box, slapped together, here's your wing dingers, that's close enough kind of set. Ranch Ferry out. <laughs>